So what's up, people? This is actually, uh... <laughs> Who did this? So, apparently, I thought I was gonna watch Lord Knight versus Void, but I guess I'm gonna watch Lord Knight and do VOD reviews for Lord Knight versus uh, COG Light. Congratulations for Light on being sponsored by COG. So, uh... Yeah, let's get down to it. So... I already, we already got a chance to see Void's team once, the Kid Buu, the Bardock, and the Goku. Now we get to see him versus a really, really good player in Lord Knight, who plays Captain Ginyu. This is a newer team for Lord Knight, Captain Ginyu, Gotenks, and Android 16. Now, before we get started, I'm going to just say my opinions on the players and team. This set has already happened. This is actually a rematch from... What tournament did they smash and splash from smash and splash where uh lord knight kind of just rolled over void from what i remember kind of sort of i don't know but yeah and then he lost 11 i think i think that's how it went but i've already seen this thing and let's let's just look at it Let's just look at what happens. I really like Lord Knight's team. I like it a lot. I think that Lord Knight, once he gets Gotenks down, because I think his Ginyu is pretty good. His 16 is insane. But I think right now his Gotenks is a weak link on his team. And I think once he gets the Gotenks down, I think he's going to do a lot of damage with this team. And Void, as you know, I think uh, right now Bardock is probably the best character on Void's team. I love his Kid Buu. His Goku is pretty good, but I think at the moment Lord Knight has the better team. Lord Knight is just also just the king of anime fight or not the king of anime fighters, but he's an anime fighter of that the old man of anime fighting games. So he just has a lot of knowledge in these type of situations. And when you have someone like that and you give them Ginyu, someone who's already obscure and Lord Knight is just the king. I call Lord Knight the king of obscurely mixing people up. So you have an obscure player with an obscure character. You're just going to be confused the whole game. And let's see what happens. So already. So one thing, so one thing that I said before is usually good players will take will want to play neutral. Just take a step back. One thing that I do not like personally doing though is giving Ginyu space. Especially Kid Buu right now, he don't really he doesn't he can't really pressure from this range as well as he used to. So I probably would have sat there, maybe held block and reacted to what Ginyu did and then tried to go based off of that. But I don't like giving Ginyu space at all. Because now, when he, Ginyu basically got two full screen projectiles. He hit him with one, then he got space enough to uh, call out Raccoon, make you block Raccoon Beam. Raccoon Beam is probably the best beam in the game. And then, now you just have to play versus Ginyu, and it sucks. And he has 16 assists. He still has 16 assists. And now he has Gotenks assist back. Call out assist, or call out Purple Comet. My least favorite thing to play against, actually. Purple Comet is my least favorite Ginyu assist to play against. And this is Dead Kid Boo. Oof. So funny enough, personally, if I'm Void, or if I'm like a coach of Void or something, what I would tell him to do is versus Ginyu teams, especially, well, Ginyu is most likely always going to be a point, but versus Ginyu teams, I'd say put Bardock on point. That's what I would do, because I feel like out of everyone on this team, Bardock is probably best at pressuring Ginyu. And then have 
go tanks assist and a beam assist to just lock him down. How did he even sneak that to Ellen? That was uh I don't think I went back enough. That was that was stealing turns if I've ever seen it. Oh, that's why that's why he dragon rushed. I didn't see that. Okay, makes sense. He poor that was a poor time dragon rush, so he didn't even have to try to tech it. He just LO'd. Nice reaction to the up tech. Just screamed at him. And then you died a Beyblade. I don't think I've ever seen that move kill before. Now, I've seen Void make some crazy Goku comebacks, but I don't think you want to try to make Goku comebacks versus Lord Knight. Keep him in the corner. I don't know about that vanish there, also. I felt like that was kind of a panicky vanish to get out of disadvantage from Void. And I feel like especially versus Gotenks, you don't want to panic vanish. That 2H is godlike at taking care of vanishers. So how did he get hit when, while he had sparking? Nice by, nice by uh, Lord Knight, just recognizing he could poke out of that situation. Ah, I see. See, there, you have to spark. He's probably trying to spark. But, Raccoon is just cheap. I hate Raccoon assist. All of his assists, like all of Ginyu's assists are just good. Alright, now Ginyu, Lord Knight messed up spacing a little bit. So he just got locked down. That's, when you're playing against Ginyu, that's the time you want, that's what you just want to do. You just want to touch him. That was a good job. That was actually, ooh, get mixed, Ginyu. Just staying over Rakuma assist, just so you don't get touched. It's just very good. Nice use of Goku assist for the extension. I agree. And I'm not sure. What I would used to say is Lord Knight is stingy, so he won't spark here. And he doesn't spark here. But I felt like he would spark to save Ginyu, because Ginyu is such an integral part of his team. In my opinion, and Lord Knight, or for Lord Knight's team, and just the way Lord Knight plays the team, when Ginyu is put in a bad situation, his whole team is put in a bad situation. Because, in my opinion, Ginyu is the key part of the team. So he's going to want to save Ginyu as much as possible. So when Ginyu is low, and this is pretty much all Ginyu players, actually. I like that, actually. Just get out of purple comment. But when Ginyu is low, what Ginyu players will most likely do is they'll either... Use a sparking to get Ginyu out of the situation, or they'll do a panic change to get Ginyu out of the situation, which will either will could put the rest of the team. Oh, what the heck? Oh, he switched. Okay. Either will put the rest of the team in a tight bind for the rest of the game. Missed the candy beam. What the heck? Maybe he tried the two H, and it just. I don't. I don't know what happened there. But, uh, once Ginyu is going, playing against this team is very manageable. It's still hard, but it's very manageable. Especially because I feel like 
Lord, not, oh, that should have been too aged. I feel like Void wasn't paying attention to the situation very much. Or maybe he tried to jump and get down quickly to try to 2H it. Maybe he tried to jump to bait the change. I'm not sure. But I felt like he should have played more grounded there so he could get the 2H punish. I'm not the biggest fan of... Oof. I'm not the biggest fan of Lord Knight's go tanks, but his 16 is nice dash out of the corner. Bardock assist is really good. Is he going to extend with Goku? Yes, he does. Candy Beam, level 3. Or level 1 to level 3. Okay. No, he's definitely going to use Sparking here. Like, not only is Sparking really good on 16, but... I don't know. 16 is his win condition, in my opinion. And this should be dead 16, I believe. Nah, it won't be dead 16. Oh wait, nope, dead 16, I was right. Checking Key Blast, trying to make him hang himself. E I feel like in that situation, if you're gonna ref So, oh wait, so, 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 I think I understand. What was going on here? So, you know he's plus. So you try to reflect whatever happens after that, and you want to get the punish after reflect. I think it would be better just wait and watch there, wait and react. That's I mean, of course, looking at it, of course that would be the best decision to make. Hindsight is twenty twenty, also. But, I don't know, super plus moves like that, like when, uh, when Bardock does his gut punch thing. I feel like in situations like those, where the enemy is so plus, they can do anything afterwards. So, unless they wait too long. So the best thing to do is sit and react. Because you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for a reflect because you can just dragon rush in that situation. Because you know they can't poke out in time to beat dragon rush, I'm pretty sure. I think the best they would be able to do is, uh, no, I think they could poke out to beat dragon rush. But I don't know. I think the safest thing to do would just to be sit there and react to what happens next. Ooh. And that's the end of the match. Oh man, COG Light is doing pretty good. That's his match, right? COG Light. Yeah, Lord Knight versus COG Light. That is silly. What even happened there? Why did that happen? I think Lord Knight thought he's going to try to jump out of the... Uh, I think Lord Knight thought he was going to try to jump to get away from Raccoon.
so he just went for the dra- like that's just just covering all options there was nothing that you feel safe doing in that situation but in my opinion in that situation you might as well try to poke out and force something but the thing about it is even if you do poke out you get hit by a raccoon so i don't know i don't know that's tough so what happened there why did he get hit by a raccoon there i think he tried to throw a key blast and then vanish because he's going to get hit by a raccoon by just a beam. So you're still going to get hit by a raccoon. Ah, candy beam and then vanish. Raccoon, which is good coverage. I don't even think he tried to dodge raccoon. I think raccoon just happened to be here when he vanished. Nice reflect, though. And this is... Where Void has to make it count. Now that he's got a touch on Ginyu, this is where he has to make it count. He's probably going to try to reflect and tag Ginyu out. No, he's going to try to tag Ginyu out. He didn't even try to reflect. Yep. That's... Just, like, situational conditions, though. Like, the best way to win the situation for Lord Knight is to somehow get Ginyu out of that disadvantage situation. And I don't think Void was thinking about that. Also, I don't think Void had assist, so he probably didn't even feel safe to keep Ginyu pressured. But, in my opinion, let me go back to can you in a corner. Yeah, Void didn't have assist anymore, so he wanted to back off. Which, backing off was, uh, he didn't even back off fully. Oh, he was going to try to go for something else. But in my opinion, backing off would normally be the smart decision. You don't. I don't think he should have jumped back in. But in my opinion, Ginyu is the best character in this situation to be greedy versus. Because you just want to keep him in disadvantage for as long as possible. Force them to make those bad decisions for the rest of their team. Which... I don't think he made a bad decision for the condition, or for the uh, situation condition, because you want Ginyu out of there, but it was a risky decision, and it could have easily been punished by Void, but Void jumped in to try to get an overhead. Which from that, even from that distance though, that's kind of telegraphed, so um, I don't think that would have hit anyway. That's dead Bardock, or Goku. Well, young Bardock. Bardock is old Goku, you know. Nice movement from Lord Knight. Lord Knight actually probably could have just lighted it there. Because he, he, Void whiffed a medium landing. So he probably could have lighted it there. And the worst thing that could have happened is he just gets a... I think he could have lighted there. Nice little back dashes from Lord Knight. That's... Oh, Goldo is... Oh, I hate that fucking thing. Damn it. So, for people who do not know, when you call out Goldo, Goldo does not... Usually, if you block Bar or Ginyu in that situation, for any other assist, right? There's cross-up protection. So you won't get crossed up. Because all you need to do is just block Ginyu. But Goldo doesn't have cross-up protection. If you are not blocking in the direction of Goldo, then you will get hit by Goldo. Like, if you are not blocking away from Goldo, you'll get hit by Goldo. But you don't have to block Goldo and then block Ginyu really quickly. But a lot of people don't think about that. Especially in this situation, you're like, man, I just don't want to get hit by Ginyu. Like, I'm just not trying to be oppressed by Ginyu anymore. You call out Goldo, and your muscle memory from this game just constantly tells you, just block away. From Ginyu, you'll be fine. 
when you just get hit by gold though and you're just like well <sighs> I hate that I wonder if Void knows about that I'm almost certain Void does know he definitely knows now 100% knows now and then you get hit by the you just can't jump anymore now you just get pop purple comet. Oh my god. Get back in here, Bardock. Block. Block again. Block some more. What do you do? Oh man. So I think what you do there actually. So much to look at. So, but I think what you actually want to do here to get out. Can you break up some more? As soon as this get caught, he saw the animation. I think you just super jump. You super jump and you hold up so you just float. I think that's the best thing he could have possibly done. If you get if you try to hit Raccoon, or you try to hit Ginyu, and you just hit get hit by Raccoon Beam and you die. Probably. You try to block, then you just have to block for even longer. And then he's just jumping around. He tried to poke out. Which, I respect that decision. Because you just, you have to commit to something. And Bardock was probably going to die in that situation anyway. If you're going to poke out though, you probably want to poke out. Especially because he's just jumping around. But hindsight 2020, you probably don't know he was going to jump again. You probably want to poke out with like 5L. Something like that. Especially Bardock's 5L. But... I respect the decision to poke out. But that situation is just rough. So, so rough. Ugh. Yep, Birder. Purple Comet. Block some more Dragon Rush. I oh, know he didn't even go for the Dragon Rush. I would have gotten opened up too. Ugh, man. And best Death, level 3. Oh, this is actually what I'm going to be doing my next video on. Great. But that's the end of this video. Void or CLG Light versus uh, Lord Knight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got a chance to understand exactly how oppressive Ginyu can be. I hated Ginyu before the patch. I hate Ginyu even more after the patch. Man, I should play Ginyu. Ginyu's stupid. Peace.